another trim ruler by Janet Platt. And this is called, uh, this is a one inch, this is a one inch scallop ruler. The one that I used for this um, little sample right here is a half inch scallop. So it, you can see that it comes in lots of different sizes. Um, the first thing you're gonna do, and this one you have to sew, it's not just gluing, this one you have to sew, but we're gonna, I'm just gonna walk you through it. So the first thing you need are two pieces of fabric. Um, if you want, uh, different scall different color scall scallops, then you would use two different colors of fabric. So you'll put the fabrics right sides together, take your ruler, place it on the wrong side of, this one doesn't have really a right and wrong side, but this is the wrong side because I've designated that. And you're gonna trace all the way around the outside of the ruler on both sides. You'll uh, mark any of the dots, there's little holes. You'll mark any of those little holes and down the center, there's some slots down the center that you're gonna mark. Now, here's another trick. She doesn't tell you in this, but I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> um, you're gonna sew a quarter of an inch on the inside of the line that you drew from dot to dot. And I had kind of a hard time gauging that. So what I did is I took my ruler the same ruler, and I laid it back down so my dots are in the little um, valleys right here. And then I drew a line again. Can you see that? So now I have a double line. Now the inside line is the one I'm gonna sew on. So I did that for both sides. So now I've traced it, and I have sewn on the inside line all the way around, pivoting at each one of the points around, around, around. And now I've got to trim, leaving about an eighth of an inch all the way around. And the next thing you need to do is clip in between into these little valleys because we want to turn this right side out. And you know, you won't be able to turn anything unless you have your points are clipped, right? And then you're gonna cut down the center of one layer only. Now I have decided that I want this check to be my inside. So that's very important. You have to decide which layer you want on the outside as your feature fabric. So I'm gonna cut on the checked fabric because I know I want that for my inside. Cut right down the center. And then you're gonna turn all of this right side out and press it. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Well, there's probably two or three or four, but my two favorite ways, let me put it that way. Janet sells a pusher, what she calls a pusher. And I don't exactly have the right size today, but I have a pusher. They're heat resistant and they're, you have to buy the right size for the right scallop so that you can push this up into your scallop, you see, and then press right on it. This would be for the one inch. I don't have the smaller one. Now, another way to turn these so that they're really, really good is to use your, your, um, fabric folding pen. Fabric folding pens are great on scallops. And you're just going to trace right on your sewing line. And when you flip this over, it will um, justify right on that sewing line because you have to get all these pressed out and then press them with your iron. And we sell these little irons too. These are the greatest little irons by Dritz. Isn't that the cutest thing? And it also has steam and you can fill it with water, it's a great deal. So you get them all pressed. Once it's all pressed, you just fold it in half so that the raw edges are in the inside. And do you see how you have these beautiful little double scallops? It's just great because now you can just butt it up next to um, a seam and sew it. Or if you were doing a quilt, this would be a great, I did some placemats like this, and just slide your quilt right up inside 
And then you can just sew like a serpentine stitch right down the way. And this makes a great little binding as well as trim. So you can do so much with these rulers. They're very, very easy. I know you're gonna love it.